Hey everybody, welcome back to Odd Rob. So listen, as a relatively new camping person, there's a lot of stuff that I'm still trying to find out about my camper. And uh, one of those things is about my kitchen. So today, I'd like to invite all of you into my kitchen on my new camp, Tab 320 CSS Camper. I'd like to share a little bit about how I you do things, what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do. Without further ado, let's go check it out. So to gain access to the back of the kitchen, all you have to do is just rotate these knobs so that they're in the up and down position and then lift it up. And to close it, push it back down. You're gonna to need to push it because there's a seal. Push it before you turn each of those knobs. So let's start out with the sink over here on the left. To go ahead and turn it on, just go ahead and either push it up or back. To make it hot or cold, just rotate right and left. Now there's no reason to have a separate drain for this because this drains directly into the gray tank. Because this sink is pretty small, uh, there's really no room to dry stuff. So what I usually do is I'll have a separate table to the side and I'll just put a dry rack towel or a dry, you know, drying towel. I'll put my stuff that I just washed on there and there's plenty of room with that. Now to open the cabinet doors under the sink, just go ahead and press on the knobs and they'll pop right out. Once that happens, you just grab the knob and open it up. They're easy open cabinets, both sides work the same. Just remember that before you travel with the camper, you make sure that those are pressed back in and that'll lock it so that they will not open during travel. Now this plug over here on the right, just be careful with anything that you may store underneath because that is what your microwave is plugged into. Now on the left is the plumbing to the uh, external shower. You can see that there's a lot of lines and hose, it's all plastic. So remember, anything you store underneath, make sure that it's secure. What I like to do is once I have things underneath, I'll go ahead and I'll either put bubble wrap or clothes, and I'll just make sure that I wedge them in so that I know nothing's gonna shift underneath. Now with the cabinets up above, there's a latch underneath behind, and you just feel for that, it's always located in the middle. Just depress it and you can flip the front door open. Now these are pass-through, so they'll pass through right into the cabin. All you have to do is make sure that the one on the inside is open as well. Hey, look at that! On the inside of the clamshell door, there's a very simple push-button LED light, very easy to use. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, two-burner cooktop stove. As you can see, there's a piece of glass over the top. To use the stove, go ahead and open that glass. It'll go all the way back. Now, this locks into place, so it won't go ahead and come back down on you while you're cooking. Just remember that when you're all done using it, you lift up, then you can go ahead and put it back down on top of the burners. However, always remember to lift up first before you do that. Also, make sure that everything is 100% uh, cool. You don't want to put the glass on top of the burners when they're still hot. To light the burners, each burner has its own knob and you'll be able to see which, which, which is which. To light the burners, just go ahead and turn the, this knob to the light position. Then press that in while you press the striker button until it lights. Once it lights, you can go ahead and adjust for whatever you want for the temperature. To shut the burner off, just simply turn the knob to the off position. Let it cool, and then you'll be able to put your, top, your glass top back down. But never put the glass top down until it's fully cooled. Now over here on the right, there's a charging station with two USB ports and two 110 outlets. There's also this nice 12 volt plug-in as well. There are external speakers, one on each end of your kitchen. They're connected to the radio inside so you can enjoy music while you're cooking. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to your 12, uh, to your 12 volt uh, refrigerator. The control knob is located here and it has uh, numbers zero to five. Zero is the lowest cool setting and five is the coolest cool setting. So I think in the hotter weather, you're probably gonna wanna crank it up to four or five. In the colder weather, go ahead and keep it zero one. The refrigerator itself will run off shore power or your battery. So as you're driving along, always keep that switch on so that you can keep your stuff cool in your refrigerator. Now here's the microwave, it's 700 watt, so it's not a heck of a lot of power, but more than enough to heat up anything. I normally use it just to heat up leftovers that I may have bought on the road or uh, cooked the day before or whatever. It has a regular just turntable on the inside, just like the one at your house. It programs like most of them as well. So go ahead and heat your stuff, refer to your owner's manual for full working on it. 
About the turntable, it's a glass turntable that's in the microwave. So what I normally do is before I pack up to travel, I'll go ahead and pack that maybe in a, um, I have bubble wrap that I put it in, but you can also wrap it in a towel. Just keep it in a safe place so it doesn't crack or break while you're on the road. Now right here, easily accessible, is the exterior gas appliance hookup. It uses a quick connect. So go ahead and hook up that gas grill, use an extra stove, go ahead and barbecue, whatever. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like buttons down below to help us grow. As always, your comments and feedbacks are always welcome. And so until next time, stay safe, stay well, and always stay odd. Yeah.